You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. champion in you become a dream builder welcome to living by design with host tamia williams tamia is here to help you embark on a journey that will support you in defining designing testing and living the life you desire so now step into your new design life with your host tamia williams Hello and welcome to Living by Design. I'm your host, Tamia, and we are live on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. I am so excited because tonight we are talking about one of my very favorite subjects, and that is the power of command. The power of command. I mean, just think about that for a moment. The power of command. There is something in that title that makes the hairs on the back of my neck stand up because it is so true. You see, under the title of Living by Design, there is a whole lot of subtitles. There's a lot of information that comes along with that title, Living by Design. And so tonight I want to come from a place that that you would really, really understand. And I want to come from a place where you will you will really really be able to put it all together you'll be able to put it all together so that you will really really understand the power that you have inside of you i'm talking about power that you have inside of you that is um that is power that that is just so phenomenal that this power that once you tap into it i'm telling you it will change your life forever, forever. And so let me start this way. Make sure that I didn't mute myself here. All right. Awesome. Okay. So anyway, listen, listen to this particular scripture here. This is coming from the book of John verse 10, uh, chapter 10, verse, verse 30, chapter 10, verse 30. And it says, I and my father are one. I and my father are one. So now let's look at this from a science uh, point of view. See, you are in command of the infinite God power within you. You are in command of that power that is breathing you because you are not breathing yourself. None of us are breathing ourselves. There is something inside of you that is breathing you. Now get this. It is either happening by default or it is happening by design. Your life I am speaking of right now, you made a whole lot of decisions today. Either you made them out of design or you made those decisions out of default, but you made those decisions. You either chose to make those decisions or those decisions were chosen for you. You either chose to think positive or those thoughts just came about as a result of you allowing those thoughts to just come about. And see, the crazy thing is we don't get to choose 
whether or not we think or not, we're going to automatically think. And then the, the crazy thing about it is this, is we don't get to choose what happens after the fact. And so if we're going to be a part of living by design, wouldn't it make sense to be a part of the actual act? Wouldn't it make sense to really, really be a part of living our life by design? So I and my father are one. And so you are in command of the infinite God power within you. Decide what you want and get out of the way of the God power within you. Don't worry about the how. Don't worry about the who, the when, or the what. We get so caught up in the how, the who, the when, and the what. And see, the power that is breathing us, it already knows how to get it done. It is so smart and so intelligent. It knows how to run our blood through our veins exactly to the body part that needs it most. It knows how to beat our hearts. It knows exactly how many times to beat it in a second, how many times to beat it in a minute. It knows exactly how to clean, to detoxify our liver, how to allow our kidneys to work. It knows how to blink our eyes and how many times to blink our eyes. It knows how to release serotonin. It knows exactly what to do. And now we're learning that with the power of words, with the power of thoughts, we can command. Why? Because I and my father are one. And I'm, I'm going to tell you something. I get so excited. I get so excited when I get to tell people, especially my listeners, my clients, about the power of this power that is breathing us, the power that is inside of all of us. If for just one split second, just if you could just realize how much power you have inside of you right now, every single one of you under the sound of my voice, it would literally as we say, you know, out there on the streets of the world, it will literally blow your mind. If you would just tap into, I'm talking about just another percent, maybe a half of a percent, <laughs> you would not be the same person. If you would just get out of your own way and allow the real you to pass, you would be pleasantly amazed at who you're working with and whose you are working with. And so we're going to talk about you are the power because you really are the power. You really are the power. We are all one and a part of the infinite. We are all one and we are part of God. And this is what the master Jesus meant when he said, I and my father are one. You want to write that down. That is John, once again, chapter 10, verse 30. I am one with the infinite. You see, it is not enough for the infinite to just be infinite. The infinite must define itself through man. The infinite must define itself through man. You see, in the beginning, God just took some dirt and he formed man. He took some dirt, okay, that became clay and he formed man. And he said, man should not be alone. You know, so I will make for him a helpmate. And he reached inside of the man and he took out a rib and the Bible says that he built, didn't say he formed, he built a woman. And you can see the difference between a man and a woman, can't you? A man was just formed, you know, just kind of like put together. <laughs> it's like um, no chest, no backside. Well, some of them have a little chest, a little backside, but not much. But when he says he built the woman, he really did build the woman. 
The woman have breasts, she got hips, she got a backside, a more backside than men have, um, and she has smaller feet, she has smaller hands. He just made her nice and dainty, you know. Um, most of the women that I know anyway, that's, that's, that's what they look like. And so he really took some time with this woman. And so, um, you know, he, he had to go inside. And we're going to talk a little bit more about this because this gets really interesting as the night goes on. And so, guys, we're talking tonight about the power of command as we continue with Living by Design. But we're going to go for a little quick break. But when we come back, when we come back, I'm going to finish what I was saying because I'm telling you, I'm getting chill bumps as I think about what you're about to hear. So stay tuned. Don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. Abuse happens every moment of every day. According to national statistics in the United States, every two minutes, someone is sexually assaulted. And every 10 minutes, a report of child abuse is made. Those currently struggling with abuse, or if you know someone who has been the victim of abuse, you are not alone. Whether physical, mental, emotional, or sexual, know there is hope, there is help, there is healing. Author Tammy Hall has written a book from her own account of abuse called Journey of Courage that can guide you through your own personal journey of healing. Stop struggling through life. It's your story. It's your healing. And it can begin with the first turn of the page. Visit www.journeyofcourage.com to begin your path to becoming the person you were ultimately created to be. Healed. Hopeful. Happy. Have you ever felt like no one is listening or you're not getting the honest attention you deserve? Do you even know the kind of attention you want or need? You are not alone. Alice Aspen March is here to help. Thanks to Alice, through her epiphany and research over the word attention, there are solutions to the attention dilemma. Worldwide audiences have been enthralled and engaged for over 40 years with her visionary and pioneering observations. The kind of attention we get and give is vital to improving our lives and society. Alice and her weekly guests review game-changing insights for transforming and improving our understanding of attention, providing techniques for creating healthier and empowering behavior. Get a new perspective on a mainstream word. Tune into Why Our Attention Matters for fresh and thought-provoking conversations every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern on BoldBraveMedia.com and the TuneIn Radio app. Welcome back. This is your host, Tamia, and you are listening to Living by Design. We are live on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And I'm going to say this to you because I am looking forward to hearing from some of you on this evening. You can go ahead and give me a call if you're interested in chatting with me. If you may have a question, may have a comment. And um, I'm going to give you a number. You can and feel free to call in. That number is 866 451 one four five one. Again, that is eight six six four five one one four five one. One more time, eight six six four five one one four five one. Um, and again, my name is Tamia, and uh, and I will look forward to hearing from you and talking with you here tonight. Now, just before the break, um, I said we were talking. We're going to really, really get into um, some serious details here. We're talking about the power of command, and that's what we do here um, on this show. We're talking about living by design. There's so much to cover when we talk about living by design. Um, and so the power of command, just knowing that you are that you are powerful, you are magnificent. There is a power that is breathing you, that is greater than anything on the outside of you. There is something about you. There is something that's so special about you. And if you just would allow yourself to just move and allow that power to, to get in the driver's seat and to just lead your life, Lead your life. You'll be surprised at where you would end up while you are taking this journey. And so many of us, we want to be in charge like we are smarter than spirit and we are not. And so we would just let go and let God or let go and let spirit. We'll be surprised. And so as you heard me say before, you know, this is what the master Jesus meant when he said, I and my father are one. 
I am one with the infinite. You see, it is not enough for the infinite to just be infinite. The infinite must define itself through man, through man. And so what did God do? He said, I will make man in my image. And he did. He took me, he took dirt and he formed man. And then he said, man should not be alone. I will make for him a helpmate. And he reached inside of the man and he took out a rib. But once again, he went inside of the man and he took out a rib and then he took that rib and he built a woman. And he, and that's what he did. He built a woman. And then now he decided that he was going to flood the earth with the human race through using that man and that woman. And so the man had the seed and the woman had the womb. And so the man would put the seed inside of the wombed man, which is the womb man. And as a result, that wombed man would carry that human being and would give birth to that human being. So from that woman came another person and then more people came and they just continue to reproduce and reproduce and reproduce. And that leads me to where we are today. We all started from where God made us all in his image and we continued to reproduce and reproduce and reproduce. So you are a very powerful piece of work. Yes, you are a very powerful piece of work. So the the power that is breathing you is greater than your circumstances. It's greater than any situation that you may be going through right now. It doesn't matter. You know, everybody's talking about this virus. They're getting there. I mean, you turn on the TV and it's, oh my God, we got, we're running out of toilet tissue. We got to go and we got to get hand sanitizer. We got to do this. We got to do that. Have you forgotten who you are? Have you forgotten whose you are? Have you forgotten? And the sad thing is, it is a lot of folk who are all talking about, they, 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 they say they're saved and they're sanctified and they're filled with this and they're saved and they're sanctified and they're filled with that. But the minute there is a virus, a bacteria, a disease, or dis-ease, they are scared out of their minds, which for me, I just don't understand. Either you are hot or you are cold, but you cannot be lukewarm. God said, I will spew you out of my mouth. You can't be on both sides of the fence at the same time. You got to choose which side you're going to be on. And so the power of command, that's what we're talking about here tonight. The infinite must define itself through man. The infinite must define itself through you. The infinite must define itself through me. The infinite becomes definite in man, in me, in you. The only personality that God has is in man and as man. Now see, you have within you, listen to me carefully, you have within you the potential and the power to be whatever you want to be, to do whatever you want to do, to have whatever you want to have. Through you, every single one of you, The infinite power of God becomes definite. Now, you can affirm this statement in the first person, and I encourage you to do that by simply saying, through me, the infinite power of God becomes definite. Through man, the infinite becomes definite. And it is your responsibility to be definite. See, the words that you speak, the thoughts that you have, if you believe in your mind that you are going to get sick, 
then sickness will come to you. If you believe in your mind that you are going to die from this or that, you see it in your mind as clear as day. You see yourself suffering and struggling. You will bring that upon you. You see, the Bible says it clearly. It says, as a man, as a man, not speaketh, as a man thinketh in his heart, meaning in his mind, so is he. And so if you are glued to the TV, if your ears are glued to the radio, and all you are doing is hearing, allowing yourself to be fed through your ears, all of this here, this stuff about this virus, if you're allowing yourself to be fed through your eyes, all of this stuff about this virus, no wonder, no wonder you are walking in fear and not in faith. And so I'm not done with you yet. I'm telling you, I'm really just getting warmed up. We're going to take another break. When I come back, we're going to talk about the infinite has given you the ability and responsibility. I'm going to talk to you about the command that you have inside of you a word of warning, and I'm going to teach you how to take charge. So listen, if I were you, I would not touch that dial. I'm telling you, stay tuned. We're going to take a quick break, but I will. I will. I promise you, I'll be right back. Hi, my name is Myra Fox, and I am a survivor. I am the founder of the Castle Lewis I Survived Foundation and the author of a series of books entitled I Survived a Murder Untold, which tells the story of my sister and I who were abandoned and left in the care of a woman who beat us repeatedly. Unfortunately, it resulted in the death of my sister, Castle Lewis, which is revealed in a page-to-page -page chilling story. After spending time in the foster care system, I've documented my suffering and my loss and ultimately my survival. I'm blessed to work daily in my community and surrounding areas to give back by helping others and feeding the homeless. I want to spread awareness of the dangers of abuse. You can purchase my books and contribute to the Castle Lewis I Survive Foundation by visiting www.castlelewis.com or you can call us at 540-999-8401. Thank you. Horses, mystical, present, past, and future, all in one. Wild, free, domestic, and healing for everyone. Betty Hames knows this and has put her horses to good use with Nature Connect Equine Coaching. Her mission is to help people affected by the loss of hope and trust in their lives and to rediscover the wonders of nature through nature-connected learning so they can rebuild their lives and live peacefully with newfound hope, trust, and joy. Betty Hames is also a certified elite life coach, a Washington State certified counselor, and chemical dependency professional. She is passionate about partnering nature with healing, and through horses, she sees amazing results and transformation in lives that might have otherwise been lost. Call 509-830-9225 and visit her at HamesLifeCoaching.com. Hold your horses. You're in for the ride of your life. All right. Welcome back. We are live on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio, and you are listening to Living by Design, and I am your host, Tamia. Hey, better known as Coach Tamia, that is. Give me a call. You can give me a call at 866-451-1451, 866-451-1451. Again, that is 866-451-1451. Want some more of Coach Tamia? You can find me on Facebook and Instagram right there, Coach Tamia. Or you can visit my website at www.tamiabatheawilliams.com. TamiaBathiaWilliams.com. And I would love to hear from you there. So right before the break, I was sharing with you that, uh, boy, we got a lot to cover. And uh, my goal here is to get through all of it here tonight. So I want to dive right in. We were talking a little bit about, you know, people and, and all of the different talk that's going on about, you know, uh, about this virus and this so just so much talking and so much stuff, you know, that, that, you, that you, that you're hearing on the news and you're allowing yourselves to be fed through your eyes and you're allowing yourself to be fed through your ears. And, and I get it, you know, but well, what I want to say to you, there's, there's a power inside of you and there, there's a power that is breathing you that is greater than 
It is greater than all of this other stuff on the outside of you. It is greater. You can call it whatever you want to call it. You know, I, I get it. I, I, I get it. You know, some people call it infinite intelligence. Some people call it God. Call it whatever you want to call it. But the bottom line is, it is greater than, than anything on the outside of you. It really is. And so through you, this infinite power, okay, it becomes definite. It is not enough for this power that is breathing you to be infinite. The infinite must also be definite. And so this infinite has given you the ability and the responsibility. And the infinite that has given you the ability and the responsibility to choose and to define that which you wish to be, to do, and also to have, I want you to also know it's also, it also likes to be redundant about this because I realize that many of us that are coming from religious backgrounds have been taught to pray, to pray to the infinite saying, you know, now, Lord, you tell me what you want me to do. You tell me what you want me to be. You tell me what you want me to have. You know, you tell me, you tell me this and you tell me that. Speak to me, Lord. I mean, that's what we've been accustomed to doing. You know, should I go and buy this car? Should I should I buy this house? You got it wrong. You know, the infinite has given you the ability and the responsibility to choose the kind of car, the kind of house, the kind of job, the amount of money, all of that is giving you the ability and the responsibility to actually to define the kind of life that you want to live. Living your life by design. Yet people sit around all day long waiting for the car to fly out the sky. I don't understand it. And so once again, go back to John chapter 10, verse 30. I and, I and my father are one. Command you me. Also in the book of Isaiah, and I'm just using what I know, guys. I'm just using what I know. You can use what you know. You can go to the power of the subconscious mind. You can read any of Joseph Murphy's books. Um, you can go to any of those books out there in self-improvement. But command you me in the scriptures, the infinite says to the individual, command you me in Isaiah chapter 45, verse 11. And this is where religious people get mixed up. Yep. I'm talking to some of y'all. The infinite is saying, you command me. You define that which you wish me to do for you. Yet religious people say, now, Lord, you tell me what you want me to do. And so they are at a statement. Okay, get this now, not a statement, a stalemate with the infinite. The infinite says, you command me. And they say, now, Lord, you tell me what you want me to do. You tell me whether you want me to be a lawyer or a doctor or what. It just don't make any sense. So the infinite says to command its infinite expression. Okay? The infinite puts strength in you. The infinite is breathing you. You can take that strength, that power, and you can love with it. You can strike out with it. Period. And so the infinite put emotions in your heart. You can take the power of your emotions and you can love or you can hate. But you got to choose what will be your experience in life. You decide whether or not you are going to live your life by design or whether or not you're going to live your life by default. The infinite says to you, you command me. You tell me what you want. And if you have the faith, the size of a mustard seed, I will give it to you. You say to this mountain, move, and this mountain will move. You know, I just recently became a certified hypnotherapist, and I'm so excited about it. Um, I, I'm telling you, it is amazing at what the mind can do. You know, uh, the renewing of the mind. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. When you change your mind, it is amazing at how you can shift your entire life. 
you know, I'm telling you, I, I don't call it leadership anymore. I call it, I call it lead their shift, lead their shift. And so in, 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 in hypnotherapy, you are actually leading their shift. You, you're, you're, you're not doing anything, but just leading them into their shift. And that's exactly what they're doing. And so here's a word of warning for all of you. When a person understands the power of his or her word, he or she is careful with it. He or she is careful with what comes out of their mouth. It is just like a car. The car is a wonderful invention, okay? And there's a lot of power in it, but you got to be careful with it. A car has power to go up on a sidewalk and knock somebody down. It has power to take off and go over a cliff, okay? But sure, you got you, you to you be sure about how to use this car. And I'm going to, and there's also some positive things about it, but you got to be careful with how you do it. And we're going to get into that in more detail here. We got to take another break, but I'm telling you, I, I, it gets even more serious than that, guys. We're going to take a break, but don't, don't, do not change that channel because I'm, I'm coming in for a landing. And so you want to stay tuned because um, this is going to be good. So stay tuned. We'll be, we'll be right back. Attorney Renee Marie Smith is changing the way we sell real estate. She wrote a series of books called My Short Sale Guru Guides for all real estate practitioners. Whether you're a homeowner wanting to understand the process, an agent who has been handling short sales for years, or an industry analyst wanting to know how short sales impact your business, Renee uses her vast real estate experience to take a comprehensive look at the recent market phenomena while relaying it in an easy-to-understand format. Through her company, Smith Title Services, Renee has counseled thousands of short sale participants and processed in excess of a thousand short sales. Her knowledge is transformational for real estate professionals and laymen alike, and her live presentations provide people the opportunity to ask specific questions about their issues. Buy her books and schedule her to speak at your next event. Visit www.smithtitleservices.com or call 305-705-3428 or email her at renee at smithtitleservices.com. Isn't it time to sell your property today? Learn the My Short Sale Guru way. French Rastafarian baker Chef Hugues Mott is a fourth-generation baker and has worked in 11 countries across three continents. Born in Mulhouse, France, he began apprenticing in his father's bakery at age 12 and has devoted his life to learning cultures of the world from inside kitchens across the globe. He also teaches traditional French baking by hosting demonstrations and classes, and his passion for baking is reflected in his delicious confections. With a deep respect for discipline and his Rastafarian way of life, Chef Uvmat exemplifies commitment to tradition and culture in a global world. Traveling extensively and combining a myriad of flavors into his recipes, Chef Uvmat brings a unique approach to baking. To read more about the French Rastafarian baker, visit www.frenchchefoub.com. That's H-U-G-U-E-S. Bon appétit and bless up. Welcome back. This is Tamia, better known as Coach Tamia, and you are listening to the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And this show is Living by Design, and I am super excited to be here with you guys tonight. And we are talking about the power of command, the power of command. And just before the break, I was giving you a word of warning. I told you to stay tuned, and I'm so glad you did, because we are getting ready to really, really go just a little bit deeper when it comes to this this topic, okay? A word of warning. You know, when a person really, 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 really understands the power of his word, the power of what comes out of his mouth, just like it says in the word of God, as a man speaketh, as a man thinketh, in his heart, so is he. Think about that for a moment. A word, I mean, the power of the tongue, okay, will either speak life or death. 
There's just so much out there. When he understands the power of his word, he will be careful with it. What have you been saying to yourself lately? And the example that I gave is, yes, a car is a good tool. It's a very good tool. You know, it'll take you where you got to go. You know, um, it, 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 it'll take you to the hospital. It'll take you to your job every day. But it'll also run up on the sidewalk and kill somebody. It will also take you off of a cliff. And so you got to be sure to use the power, the same way you use the power of that car the, in the right way, you got to be sure to use the power of your words for only good and positive purposes. Think about fire. Think about water. Fire, when used for only good and positive purposes, is phenomenal. You know, you use fire to keep you warm, fire to cook food, fire um, to, to um, mm, you do a lot of things with fire, can't you? Right? But then what about water? Water, maybe some people have pools or water to make a nice cup of hot tea, water to wash clothes, make a cup of coffee, yeah? But that same fire can be used for destruction. That same water can be used for destruction. But when it's all used for good and positive purposes, it's a good thing. It's a positive thing. And so the same applies to your words. So this is a word of warning. Be careful with what comes out of your mouth. Now, take charge. The moment you decide exactly what it is that you want, the infinite power that is breathing you, that infinite power that is inside of you, within you, the minute you decide exactly what it is that you want, guess what? It's going to go to work. It is going to go to work to accomplish that good. So you got to decide what it is that you want. You got to decide what kind of life that you want to live, the life that you want to live by design. What is it that I really, really want? You know, you got to get out of the way of your inside power. And you got to eliminate, you got to eradicate, you got to shatter all of the questions that's going to try to get answered before you submit your all, before you surrender all to the possibility of this thing, whatever it is, coming to pass. We have a tendency to feel like we got to know how the end is going to come about before we believe that it's possible. Well, I want to become a doctor, but how is this going to happen if I don't have the money in my account? How is this going to happen if I am not good at taking exams? How is this going to happen if nobody in my family ever graduated from college? How is this going to happen if, 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 if? Where am I going to go? Who's going to help me? When? All of these things popping up in your mind. And what I'm saying to you here tonight is that is none of your business. Your business is to understand that I and my father are one. And the fact that you and your father are one, that you are being breathed by your father, you and he are one then the how is none of your business. The how is going to happen. Your job is to just make it welcome. Make a decision and make it welcome. Make room for it to come in. That's all you got to do. Get out of the way of that inside power. Don't let limited human 
thinking stand in the way of that by, by wondering how. Wondering how. Don't let the human intellect stand in your way. Don't let a virus stand in your way. Don't. And, and if you find yourself being panicked, being frantic, being afraid, leave the TV off. Leave the radio off. Okay? Listen to shows like this. Stay tuned in to Bold Brave Media. You want to hear positive news. You want to stay tuned into transformational messages. You don't want to hear negative stuff because what is that going to do? You want to feed your mind with information that's going to serve you well because your mind never forgets anything. That's why I tell people all the time, do not go to sleep with the television on. Because your mind is recording. Your subconscious mind is like a gigantic recorder. It is always recording whatever it is that it hears. Be mindful of that. So I'm not done with taking charge. I'm going to finish that when we come back. But guys, listen, we're we're almost coming in for a landing here. Um, And I want to share with you some quotes so that you can remember and give you some affirmation treatments as well. And um, and then take some questions if you have any. And so anyway, we're going to take another quick break. But when we come back, we're going to finish talking about how you can take charge. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. MJ Domit is the owner of Expect to be Empowered, a company whose specialty is empowering people to live their best life by following their heart and accepting themselves unconditionally. After studying and making personal changes, MJ now focuses on giving others tools for self-empowerment. She provides individual and group workshops for people who are physically, emotionally, and spiritually blocked. Inspired by her work at Expect to be Empowered, MJ authored the book Waves of Blue Light, Heal the Heart and Free the Soul with a company empowerment cards she is a spirit book of the year gold medal living now book award winner and her book is a number one amazon bestseller in spirituality and was a 2012 gold medal winner recognized as the living now spirit book of the year an inspirational speaker mj will show you how you can repurpose every area of your life your life did not just happen to you you chose it which means you can change it visit www.expecttobeempowered.com or call 866-264-8024 My Dreams, My Challenges, and Joys is an inspiring book by author Linda Genazzo. This real-life account of raising a child with autism from birth to adulthood takes you on a journey of compassion, love, and hope as it tells the incredible story of a devoted family and their beloved daughter. Together, they faced adversity and never stopped believing they would find the help they were seeking. A breast cancer survivor, Linda Genazzo has a giving heart. With a background in social work with the mentally ill and the homeless, Linda continues to help families in her community. And her book, My Dreams, My Challenges and Joys, brings greater awareness to autism and those families in need. To purchase your copy, visit www.lindagenazzo.com. It's also available on Amazon.com and BarnesandNoble.com. Don't delay. Get your copy today. Welcome back. You are listening to Living by Design. I'm your host, Tamia, and we are live on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. If you have a question for me, a comment, and or a challenge, maybe there's something that you are growing through, I would love to help you. Give me a call at 866-451-1451. Again, that is 866-451-1451. One more time, 866-451-1451. And so anyway, right before the break, we were talking about taking charge, taking charge. And just as I was saying, um, just as we were getting uh, going to the break, I was talking about being careful, you know, with what you allow to go inside of your head, man. You know, um, as, as one of my old partners would say, and I'm sure she got this from somewhere, and it escapes my mind right now, And but if it comes to me, I will share it here tonight. And if not, I'm, I'm sure I'll share it another time. But she talks about standing guard at the gate of your mind or standing guard at the portal of your mind. So important. So, so very important. 
you know, we sometimes forget that we have a mind. We forget we have a mind. And our mind is so precious. It is so precious. And, 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 and see, whatever goes in the mind stays in the mind. This is not a, a, a Las Vegas situation. You know, whatever goes on in Vegas stays in Vegas. No, whatever goes on in the mind stays in the mind. You know, and what I find uh, in hypnotherapy is that a lot of people, when you take them through regression, a lot of stuff that they have suppressed, it shows up. And they're like, whoa, I totally forgot about that. I'll give an example. Um, I was was um, actually talking to a few people and, uh, and I'll use this young man, one of young, this young man um, as an example. I won't mention his name, but um, I re- remember talking to him and I had him go back between the ages of five and seven. And I had him share with us, um, in, with the group, an experience that took place um, that kind of took the wind out of his sail that, um, that, that, that he didn't like that made him feel like he was nothing because this man, it was a grown man, you know, it, it come up this grown man, but was, was very, uh, didn't have a lot of confidence. Um, he was really, really shy and, uh, very timid and, um, just couldn't hold on to relationships. Um, just had a, a, a challenge with commitment. And, and all of a sudden, right at the front of his forehead, pops up a, a scene pops up. And this scene was this man, he remembered when he was a little boy, he was walking to school and this, this other young boy was being bullied by this other kid. And he jumped in and he beat this kid up. And when he got to school, the, I guess the, the teacher and the principal found out about it and they had him come and stand in front of the entire school and they ridiculed him. They made him feel like he was nothing. They made him feel like he was a bad kid and like he was the worst kid in the school. And so he went through school like he was a bad kid, like he was the worst kid in school. He was a bully and he felt like he was nothing. And so his self-esteem was ripped from him. He, I mean, he was, he felt low. He felt bad about himself and that followed him throughout his entire life. And so now when he realized that that was not him anymore, this was who, I mean, he was still living as that child, as an adult. He was still living as that child, as an adult. So you can't tell me that the mind is something that can be toyed around with. And so I'm telling you that story to tell you it's time for you to take charge. It is time for you to pay attention to whatever goes on inside of your mind. It's time for you to watch the words that you allow to take root in your mind. Yeah, a seed can be planted, but it doesn't have to grow unless you entertain it. The same way I said, when you turn your television on and you're watching all of this stuff, it cannot take root unless you entertain it. Remember, wherever the mind goes, energy flows. Energy cannot flow to something that you are not giving attention to. And so your firm, definite decision commands the infinite God power, the infinite power that is breathing you to work for you according to your faith, whatever that is. But you must be definite. You must be sure. That power that is breathing you, that power within you awaits your decision. It is waiting. It's like a genie inside of you saying, Master, what do you want? Your wish is my command. It is your father's pleasure. It is your genie's pleasure to give you health, to give you happiness. Okay, to give you prosperity, to give you love, to give you success, to give you money, to give you a life that you really want to live by design. I mean, for God's sakes, the Bible says in the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 32, it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom, to give you the kingdom. And so here's some quotes for you to remember. You may want to write these down. In me, 
the infinite power of God becomes definite. In me, the infinite power of God or the infinite power that is breathing me, once again, becomes definite. Here's another one. The greatest thing in the world is to know how to be sufficient unto one's self. And the third one is your greatest power is the power of choice. Woo. That's from Ralph Emerson. Mm. Your greatest power is the power of choice. Wow. Yeah. And we're going to take a break. We're going to take another break. But when we come back, guys, woo, woo, woo. Hey, man, we're going to bring this in for landing. I got some affirmation treatments, and I'm telling you, they will help you if you use them. So we're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, I'm going to give you these affirmation treatments, and you're going to write them down, you're going to practice them, and they are going to serve you and serve you well. So stay tuned, because we'll be right back. Do you ever wonder why certain things are happening in your life? How to start a business or a new direction? Need answers? Astrologer Bonnie Perbula can help you reveal your true self and gain strength and focus so you can achieve greater joy and success. Working with a natal birth date, time, and location, Bonnie brings out qualities to aid you in getting the best from your life. She can help you unlock dormant traits to bring you greater awareness. Bonnie also conducts public speaking engagements to educate aspiring astrologers on their journey to the stars. A gifted artist, Bonnie bridges her talents and recently launched a line of Astro Bears, uniquely created in colors of individuals' astrology charts. She also makes one-of-a-kind necklaces of crystal beads and woven thread. To learn more about the world of Bonnie Prabula, go to BonnieGPrabula.com. And for astrology consulting, visit AstrologyConsultants.com or call or email her at 808-526-1536 or BonnieGP at AOL.com. Have you ever felt like no one is listening or you're not getting the honest attention you deserve? Do you even know the kind of attention you want or need? You are not alone. Alice Aspen March is here to help. Thanks to Alice, through her epiphany and research over the word attention, there are solutions to the attention dilemma. Worldwide audiences have been enthralled and engaged for over 40 years with her visionary and pioneering observations. The kind of attention we get and give is vital to improving our lives and society. Alice and her weekly guests review game-changing insights for transforming and improving our understanding of attention, providing techniques for creating healthier and empowering behavior. Get a new perspective on a mainstream word. Tune into Why Our Attention Matters for fresh and thought-provoking conversations every Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern on BoldBraveMedia.com and the TuneIn Radio app. Welcome back. You are listening to Living by Design, and I am your host, Tamia, and we are live on the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Oh, wow. Tonight has been an awesome, awesome, awesome night. I'm telling you, we are coming from a place that I've been wanting to talk about for quite some time now. And it has been real, really real tonight because we're talking about living by design. And, and what better way to live by design than, uh, than by having the power, the power to command things for your life, to command things for your life. And so I just want to do a quick review, you know, and, and hopefully you wrote these verses down. You know, I, I'm one that I truly believe I believe in all of um, the books that I have on my shelves. I, I believe in the authors and I'm an author myself, but I, I really have to say that a lot of the, the books that I have, that I have read in the past and, and even some that I'm reading now, a lot of them have something in common and what they have in common is they, they quote a lot of stuff from the word of God. And so I can't help but to use that also as one of my resources. And so tonight, as we talked about the power of command, we talked about John chapter 10, verse 30. I and my father are one. We are one. We also talked about the power that is breathing you. The power that is breathing you. You are the power. You are the power. And the infinite has given you the ability and the responsibility. We went into Isaiah chapter 45, verse 11, command you me. You're waiting for something to happen, but 
You are the one that that's making the commands for what it is that you want. You tell that inside power and that inside power then takes charge. Don't worry about the how. The how will figure itself out. You just make the command and then get out of the way. Here are some affirmations that will serve you well tonight. In response to God's invitation, command you me. I now command the infinite within me. Here's another one. I command health year after year from birthday to birthday. I command happiness and love. I'm the happiest and most loving person I know. I make everyone else feel happy too, and they love me. I command success and prosperity. Everything I touch becomes successful. I can have all the good I desire. I now command money, lots and lots of money, is drawn into my life. I do not serve money. Money serves me for all my good purposes. Thank you, Father. Thank you, infinite God power in me. I am a money magnet. And you can add to that. You can subtract to that. You can use whichever one you want. But I tell you, do not, do not, not affirm every single day. Affirm what it is that you're hearing here. To be here and to listen to what's being said and not take action is to just be motivated temporarily. And to me, that just does not make sense. And so, guys, it has been a plum pleasing pleasure to be with you here again tonight. And I so look forward to continue our talk as we continue to live life by design together, as we continue to come together every Thursday around the same time at the same place. So until next time, have an amazing week and we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye. This has been Living by Design with your host, Tamia Williams. You came here fully equipped to create and manifest your best life. Tune in each and every week to Tamia Williams, Living by Design. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.